And here we go. I've got my basic colors. I've got yellow, black, red, white, and blue. Now out of these, we can actually make quite a bit happen. So we're gonna go ahead and practice. I'm gonna be actually mixing up a little bit of the red and blue, and that creates a purple. Now I'm gonna mix those together. And it's okay, that little blue that on there was a little bit dry, so we're gonna let that sit. And we just wanna add some nice color. Now, I'm gonna go ahead across the top and just add this awesome purple. I'm doing this back and forth, side to side, very gently with this paint. And as the paint comes off of my brush, you can actually start to see different colors start to form, blues, purples, light purples, things like that. We do want texture. This really adds a really fun effect on our painting. We might as well use it to our advantage. And here we go. So you can see this paint is a little streaky. That's perfect. That's helping me add that beautiful texture that you're seeing. Now, as you can see, there are some darker and lighter points coming right off that brush, nice and simple. And I'm covering each part of the little canvas that are poking through. You can see those little dots of white coming through. Very important that you wanna at least cover that up. Now, again, like I said, we will be giving actually this painting away for free on TikTok. So some lucky person is gonna get this actual painting right here. And what I'm doing now is lightening up just a little bit down here because I am gonna wanna add some different colors coming up here soon. You'll see what I mean as we progress. All right, so very, very beautiful. You got some pinks, you've got some kind of hybrids going here. You can even add some little white in there just to soften that pink up and those blues up. Really fun step, but I'm making it kind of choppy right here because I'm gonna add some awesome colors coming up here soon. And again, not much paint is being used. I love that we don't have to use so much paint. It's better to kind of just start with a little bit and then work your way up. All right, so I've got that. I'm gonna switch over to a new brush. This one has a little bit of dark ink in it. I don't know if I like that too well, but we're gonna try it anyway. Try to rinse off my brushes as best I can. Now I'm gonna add some yellow here and a little bit of red, and that's gonna make some orange. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this color coming up in here. Not trying to touch too much of that purple and pink just yet. I wanna at least get this base color off and add some brightness to this. Looks like we're doing an awesome sky sunset here. You got it. There we go, and that's looking pretty good right there. So what we wanna do now is connect these two. You can see there are a little bit of white in there. All you can do is you just really put a little bit of that orange and pink together, and you can kind of just mix it in, And but you can go back and forth and just kind of blend them a little bit. This helps give it the illusion that this is naturally happening, happening in nature. And remember, Nature is not perfect, and we use that to our advantage as artists. So take a look at that. So as you can see, real fun step right there. We've got some beautiful colors, beautiful sunset going. But now I wanna add that bright sun just kind of like really setting. You can see right there, I'm gonna put a little bit of a circle. But what I'll do is actually make some lines coming out, and I'll chop it up so you don't have to make a perfect circle. It just looks like there's a bright beacon of light just happening there. Kind of like a hazy sky. You can put some of that white there just to kind of capture some of those bright highlights off the clouds. Woohoo! We got this, guys. It's happening. Look at that. So just a nice, bright, awesome sun. You can see like this little highlight right there. Maybe we want to make some more over there just to even it out. Whatever you want to do. That's a very nice little sunset I think we got going in there. So what we wanna do now is we wanna mirror this down here because we're gonna make a reflection of water. I'm gonna do that by just taking some of this yellow and mixing it into some of that orange. And we wanna make a darker version than our actual sky because the water is just reflecting. 
cycle, it's very important that you do the side to side back and forth motion because that's going to give you the illusion of actual kind of water waves, things like that. Now, if you do mess up, don't worry, you can actually change things up quite a bit because we can put some land, we can add a silhouette, and you'll see what I mean as we continue on here. And we're going we're gonna to create this nice horizon line, but as you can see, it kind of created itself and it's really just a really pretty step. I'm just mirroring some of these clouds here. In fact, I can put a little bit more yellow in here. As it dries, you can kind of get a feel for it. Ooh, look at that. Some of that yellow is reaching up there. Nice. Okay, so we got that. It's looking good. We're doing it. And now what I want to do is just add some really bright hot pink right here, fuchsia. Look at that, oh yeah. And we're doing this all in one sitting. I know what I'm painting, so I wanna just kinda of go with the flow and just keep it going. I'm having fun with this painting. It's not taking me too long, not too much time. And that's what it's all about. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of blue on my brush. Whew, that's a little too much, but oh well. A little bit more than I wanted, but we can shape that up real quick with some white. Tone it down. Look at that, see? And I'm just going to get the bottom pieces right here. And loving it. Starting to happen now. Okay. So, we got our basis. We know where our horizon line is because we made that little sun happen. But now it's time to change everything because we're going to be adding some plain black. Now, this is what is really important. Just be very careful with your black because it can overpower everything if you let it. All right, so here's that sun, that original sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice little line right there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of land going right in front there. It's gonna give the illusion that there's maybe some land right there, okay. And you know what, I can make this a higher mountain if I need to. Just, it's all like depth perception at this point. Okay. Now, let's do it, let's add some more here. Let's maybe make this an outcove. Like some, maybe some rocks down here. Now you might cover up some of your beautiful color. You know, that might happen. That's what silhouettes tend to do, is they cover things up but they're so impactful and do such a good job that it's worth it, I think. All right, we've got some nice real estate now happening right over there on that side. Now, let's add some more over here because that's where our other horizon line was. And let's make this guy go up here. And look at that. I wanna make it kind of flat right down here. And you can start to see a formation of depth and some awesome things happening right on this painting just as we just do it right here. Woo, it's coming together. I think I'm digging this right now. So look at that. You can see that makes the horizon line. This point right here to that point right there. That shows that, that whatever that other stuff is, all this down here is a reflection. And if you want to make it, you know, bigger, you can do that. You can make another little landmark right here just to show depth and all that stuff. Okay. We got that. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful land, beautiful sky. But the thing that's going to tie it together right now is going to be our palm trees. This actually is, you have to be a little bit brave. So take a deep breath and I'm going to make a nice skinny line go like that nice black line and here we go I'm gonna make a couple little lines coming out here I'm using a flat brush too if you're curious what kind of brush I'm using and this whole video will be on YouTube the raffle will actually go on TikTok. we'll be raffling this off here and it's absolutely free I love spreading art and creativity, so I am hooking some people up. All right, there you go. And this will be signed. It will be one of one. There will be no other like it. So all you NFT fans out there, there you go. 
All right, there you go. So look at that. We got our first palm tree right there. Really beautiful, but let's add a buddy. Let's add a friend for this guy. We got to decide where we want to put it. Do we want to put it up here in this end here, or do we want it to like swing over here? I think there's a lot of black over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a smaller tree right here. Ooh. It's okay if you mess up. Nature's not perfect. Trees aren't perfect. And again, I am just flying through this painting. All right, and then this one might be a little bit taller because you know what? We're going up. So this one might show just the bottom part of this palm tree. I'm just making these little spikes. And the key is just making them all different. So again, it looks a little bit more realistic with like a nature scape. Okay, so look at that. We've got a palm tree, a couple palm trees right there. That's a skinny little tree right there. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of thicken that up just a little bit and make that tree trunk a little bit better. Now, again, you're more than welcome to add little details like this. You can add any rock formations you want. You can add little plants. You can add little trees, whatever you think might be awesome for your painting or whatever style you want to do. This is acrylic paint that I am using. Again, basic colors are going to be my yellow, black, red, white, and blue. And out of all of those, I actually made this happen right there. So again, I will sign this off right now. Here we go. I'm gonna, I got one of these like paint markers to sign off this painting. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sign it. And there you go, signature is made. And this is of course, one of one. Very important that you have that kind of stuff right there going because that makes it that much more valuable and custom.